1.666 or something like that? I don't know. I don't think it really matters anyway because I'm pretty sure we're going to melt it. So let's get back into this room. So that tray... If I just pull that out, presumably that goes... Yeah, that goes in there. Put it in. Now, we need heat. Bellows, do your thing. How much heat? Is red too much or is red ideal? I guess red's ideal. Right. Okay, so that goes down. Oh, right. Yeah, I probably should have had a look at that before I started... Before I started making it. Fuck. Is that, is that one of them? It might be. That probably should stay in the bucket a little longer. But yeah, a key created in the forge. Right. Well, let's see. Let's go have a look at the box and let's see if that matches up to anything. Probably not. Because it looked like there were a few variables. Um, no. <laughs> no is the short answer. Long answer is fuck no. Uh, mate, it's it's kind of close to that one in a way. It's got the right base. Let's go for the bottom one first. So yeah, it's got the same base. It's, you know, triangle, rectangle, and then the three at the top. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, so that's fine. Yep, that'll do. And three at the top. Just want to make sure that's the right three. It's the only three, actually. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, so, we're going to need to put this in. Good. I'm very glad we can do that. We don't have to find another metal bar. That might be hard to come by. Okay. Let's try this. This is cool. I like this a lot, actually. Okay. That looks more like it. So... A key created in the forge. This time it's not just random patterns. So that should go in the slot down there, shouldn't it? It fits! Hey, okay! What's this then? Do we need to knock them both down 90 degrees? No, that doesn't make sense. That When it locks into position, it makes a noise, but aside from that... Uh, oh, wait! This wasn't open before. What is that? A hollowed out metal block. Yeah, alright, if you say so. Alright, so we got this sort of square socket or a diamond socket at the top. So something goes into it? Hmm, alright. Hang on. Um, go to... go to this. Swing it to the other side. Yeah, that closes up. What about this side? Ha-ha! It opens! A small connector. Uh, okay. I guess we're done. We're definitely done. I can't even manipulate that anymore. Right. Uh, that looks familiar. That, yeah, does that go there? It probably should. Right. And that's how we drag both of them down at the same time. There you go. Right. Honestly, I thought this was going to open. No, it, it still does. All right. A very small slide puzzle, I think. So that... Yeah, okay, so the... Yeah, that symbol's got to go through the right side. That's got to go through the left side, so... Let's see. That goes there. Bingo! Right. And that 
That's another one of those metal castings. Right, so we're going to go to the the next bulb, the next connection, which... Does that mean the next uh, uh, gear as well? Let's find out. Which one is it? Oh, okay. Right, so it's... It's the other side of... Of this room. It's the other workbench, right? So that connects to that, which spins around. And yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was just like a misclick, but it was a very good one. I thought that might be what it was for, actually, when I saw the ridges around the outside. So now it's not just a disc, it's a cog. Oh, and that's how you remove that as well. Oh, oh what's that? Well, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to find out. Well, let's find out straight away. It's a belt. Okay. For this? I guess it's got to be, right? It's not connected at the moment, but maybe with this... Yeah! Is that for me? You're so kind. Okay, so that's the second chest piece. So that's also going to go into the side of the box. Okay. So there's that to get on with. I guess I could just maybe reforge this and make a couple more keys. But no, let's, let's deal with the chest piece for now. So that should go there. Ah. I was wondering when we'd be doing this. Very good. Very good. Okay. So that goes up. That goes along. Give it a spin. Oh, there's a bit missing. Hold on. Match that up. There it is. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop, stop. Oh, you do it automatically. Great. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's one of those button chimneys. I love those. Slide that up. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What are we doing? Okay, well, let's see what this does. Oh, it's a button. Right. So, that's where the light comes from. It bounces all around here. And this is where it ends. Right. I think maybe we could manipulate these. Yes, we can. About there. Just line up the shapes. Okay, so we got... So we got a circle and a rectangle as well. So that needs to go down a little bit. That's it. Another one for me. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought we were just going to keep doing that. And it was just going to bounce back to the original one, but uh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. Now we've actually got a proper slot for it. Let's see if we can recreate this. So it's got like a tuning fork top and middle and two at the bottom. Okay. Let's uh, let's go do that. So, again, I suppose we're going to put this in the tray. We don't need that anymore. Nope. That's the one. And that's definitely the one. Just want to confirm that before I go forge something. Yeah. 
Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Sometimes when you right click and it resets you, it actually resets the camera as well, which can be a bit disorientating, but uh, I think we're good to go. All right. Oh, God damn it. I know where this goes now. Those two ridges, man. They were. Alright, well, I've made it now. Yeah. It's most of the key. Is it gonna work, though? It probably won't work, to be honest. Damn, I realized that just a few seconds too late. Uh, so. Yeah, that circle is that bit down there. I get it. Okay. Yeah. That works. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit. It seems to be the wrong shape. Well, kind of. Alright. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing these bellows out by the end of this, I think. So, that goes in there. Very nice. So let's put that there. Oh, Christ. Okay. And that can't be spun around or anything. That actually has to be the circle. But that's fine. That's what we need. Uh, oh. I didn't check the top one. Did the top one require the circle? It, I, I guess it shouldn't matter, really. So, pump it up. There we go. So the whole thing is going to come sliding out this time? Yeah, okay, great. That's more like it. So, I guess we put it our send in first. No, no, that's that is merely the handle. Strictly speaking, we didn't need to do that. We could just turn the square bit over there. But whatever, that's nitpicking, I guess. The box knew somehow. The box, if it is a box, knew. Okay. Now we get the same thing around every side. Can I... I can touch it. But I can't grab it. I can't pull it out. Oh, right. Okay. Aha. So, hold on. We've got that. There's the yellow one. There's a purple... Right, okay. Uh, spin this so it's like that. Maybe again. That seems to be lined up. Can you push that in? Yes, push it in. That's it. Uh huh. All right. Well, let's just keep doing that, right? So. Okay, so that's already been pushed in. This one has not. That one goes over there. That seems to be lined up. There you go. Alright, so one more time. And where is that? There it is. So that goes on the back, doesn't it? So uh, it's got to be like that. And then we turn it round... Um. Oh wait, no, I see. So we turn it around like that, then we spin it. That's it. And that's the last one. Right, what is that there? Looks expensive. It probably is. It's a gem. An unknown gem. Great. Anything on the back of this? Not really. We can't go back in, it looks like. Right. Does that go there or something? No? Well, no, and of course, we've already had a look at that. Maybe it goes in the top here, then. It certainly does. Right, revealing another keyhole. And yes, we've got the uh, we've got the bottom on this one as well. So we've got squiggly line, triangle, and again, a little bit like this one, two at the bottom. Okay. Nice detail. You can see it's sort of snowing or raining slowly outside. Maybe rain. Yeah, I guess it's water, isn't it? Off the water wheel. Yeah. 
Really nice. Really nice. That's the one. Uh, I think that's it. Just a couple spins. So, put that in. Once again. Wear my arms out. Okay. Right. Of course, I just realized we haven't actually done anything with that, like, mannequin arm yet, and there's still a door that we haven't opened, because uh, we need to get the other cog moving, don't we? I don't think we're quite done with this one yet. I, I seem to be getting through it fairly quickly, but this one's a big one. Right. Up the top this time. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it just... It folds out. Oh, and what have we got here? Look into my eyes. What do you see? Don't start singing it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so we can move this around. Oh, boy. So hold on, we need to get all of these inside this shape here at the bottom. Oh, we go over to the right side as well, do we? Oh. Oh no, hold on. If it's just three, these three cogs, this could be a little bit more complex. How do we get that second one? Right, get the, get the second one first. Actually... That works beautifully. Was this one just the outside one? This one's just the outside. Just keep on spinning. Okay, I think I kind of lucked out in that puzzle. I'm not complaining. Okay. What's this? Oh! Ah, this is the last of the metal castings, okay. Nothing too special about this, nope, just like a, a diamond shape on it. I know where that goes, I guess. That's not a button on the top, something obviously slides into that, but I don't have it at the moment. Alright. Oh, hang on, can we slide these, these squares? Not this time, no, that was like, that was a trick on the other box. So, put that down, and I guess this is going to be the last cog. And I guess it's going to open the other door. Yeah. Now, if I had to bet, and it wasn't in the box, I would say the pyramid is most likely in there. Although I think it mentioned it was in the box, in the note. Right, spin around. And let's go in. Okay, hold on. Are we going to notice that? No, no. I've noticed it though. There's something on the floor here. A broken piece of wood. I doubt this will be useful. Maybe you doubt too quickly? Maybe I need to attach it to something that I don't have yet? What is this machine anyway? What does it do? What is that? Okay, I've got a piece of wood. Just a fairly bog-standard piece of wood. Right, so what do I... what do I do? Ah, right, I needed to double-click it to turn it. I thought that's... Oh! No, that's okay, that's probably why I've got the wood, right? That's probably why I've got the wood. I think we're, uh... We're seeing a pattern now, aren't we? What's up with this one? Again, it's just... Yeah, it broke off. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you just put it straight on the wood? <laughs> no, doesn't fit. Funny that. 
What about these drawers here? No. Don't have too much luck with those. Windowsill? Nothing. Nothing in the dark corners, I assume? Doesn't look like it. Over here? No. Alright, so, uh, double click on this again. I don't suppose we can just sort of jam this through, can we? No. The socket's too small. Right, so we need to do something with the woods. Oh wait, yeah, there's a sawmill in the next room. Let's go check that out, right? And you know what? Yeah, there was like the place where I think you could put something and then slide it towards the source. So that's probably it. So, um, it's the perfect fit. Funny that. Uh-huh, okay. Now, gently does it. There you go. <laughs> Just to make extra sure. Right, we've got a small piece of wood. And, uh, right, that's the horrible piece, so that's fine. So we got this. Maybe I could just put that in. Although it's still the same issue, isn't it? Although... I don't know how this is going to work. But it probably will. I don't know if it's going to work now, though. Can you put that there? Alright, don't make another chess piece. I don't want a chess piece. <laughs> it's a giant pawn! No. No, that looks about right, actually. I don't know how that was sort of programmed into the machine. Maybe I'm just really skilled at woodworking, but... There you go. That looks pretty good. Alright, well, let's just go see if that works. Yeah. I like this one. Uh, I don't think it's my favourite at the moment. Unless there's going to be something, you know, kind of crazy that happens with this machine. I think just seeing the island come out of the table, that that's always going to be the best. I don't think that can be beaten, can it? There you go. So, double-click this. Or not this time. No, no, we don't need to. Oh, oh, now we're dealing with the arm, right. Mechanical anatomy, did it say? Right, the gear array. That's what was missing. Hold on. I think that was one of the symbols. I can't do this by memory. I'm just going to have to back away and have a look at the, the arm again. So, yeah, round here. It's fairly simple, just three symbols. So it's the triangle, the square, and then that, whatever you want to call that. VL, how's that? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, <laughs> you can't really see it from some angles. Right, I had, the, I had the right sort of idea with the symbols, just in the wrong order. That's right. And then we just look for this. Yeah. <laughs> and it just appears there. <laughs> now that is fancy. So we've got the camshaft, right. This might be able to help us out with the next bit, I guess. So there's that, it goes into the notches, I spin this. I guess with the camshaft there it's going to move the fingers, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Over there, that's where we want to be looking. Just for a moment I thought, let's melt it, let's melt it. I'm just, I do, I'm in a forging kind of mood, what can I say? Right. Okay, so, let's have a look at the elbow sort of area. Hmm. 
And then we go over to this. And we can try the same kind of thing, yeah. I guess there's a sweet spot where all of them will open up. We're getting to it. There, there you go. We got it. Okay. So, it is in fact a strange key that might be played as a flute as well. There's holes on the side of it. Oh, more than two. Oh, we can do the end as well. What the fuck? Maybe that goes there. Okay. It's all lined up, so that, that's probably okay. What about the square? No, can't do anything with the, the base of the key, the handle. Okay. And I can't read your palm. No lines to read. Sorry. Here. Four holes. Right there. That's the one. Okay. Okay, so that's just that's going down. Great, great. Uh, we're keeping hold of it. Does it go here? Yeah, the handle does. And the other side too. Nice. And there it is. Our reward for all of that. Okay. One more chapter complete. Praise is due. You mastered the sinister machinery of the forge with aplomb. Let the splinters in your fingertips be a reminder of how far you've come. Ah, eh, there weren't too many splinters. That was a fun one, though. Not my favourite, but it was a fun one. Okay, so... There, there was a note in there that mentioned it was like the last test. So I don't know if I want to just plop this on the table right now. Let me just go have another look at that table. I'm fairly sure there's slots for two more pyramids, including this one. So I think there is another chapter after this, but I, I need to make sure before I put it down. Yeah, there and there. Okay, I think I... I think I can safely put this on the table. I hope I can. But the next one, I'll, I'll hold off on doing anything with that one until I've maybe solved all the other puzzles around here. Okay, so as is tradition, something rises from beneath and it's... It's a book? A leather-bound book. Let's check it out. There's that symbol again. All oh, right. Oh, right, yeah. There was a stand, wasn't there? I suppose that goes in the stand. Where, uh... So that's where I came from, so I guess it's in here? Let's just see if I can get it into its slot, see what happens. It should be the stand to my left. Yeah. Yeah, I thought this looked kind of odd, so you go there. Interesting. Oh, boy. Is that an elevator? Seems to be. Up or down? Hmm. Do we get a choice? Can we go down even further? <laughs> Not really. We can go up though. on going. We got a candle missing. Don't think I missed it. <laughs> ah, a safe. Something else to power up. A hanging chandelier or a light or something. That might be a. That might be the map of the place. Another note to read. Another box to flick the switches. Yep, yep. We're getting all the same kind of stuff, so yeah, this is going to lead us to another chapter. But this is where I'm going to stop recording and say thank you very much for watching the last couple of videos. Hope you enjoyed them, and I hope to see you back next time.
Oh, right, yeah, I probably should have had a look at that before I started. Right. Honestly, I thought this was going to open. No, it, it still does. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Match that up. There it is. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I know where this goes now. Those two ridges, man. No, that's... That is merely the handle. Strictly speaking, we didn't need to do that. We could just turn the square bit over there, but... Whatever. That's nitpicking, I guess. The box knew. Somehow the box... If it is a box... Knew. Look into my eyes. What do you see? Don't start singing it. <laughs> ah, right. I needed to double-click it to turn it. I thought that's... Oh... Now, gently does it. There you go. <laughs> Just to make extra sure. This. Yeah. <laughs> and it just appears there. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Over there, that's where we want to be looking. Just for a moment I thought, let's melt it, let's melt it. I'm just... I do, I'm in a forging kind of mood, what can I say? I think I can safely put this on the table. I hope I can. Oh boy. 